Hey guys, it's Jason with Tandy Lab. Today we're taking a first look at the Tandy 1000, which if you're not aware, amounted to huge changes for Tandy. The Tandy 1000 was released in November of 1984. Now at the time, Tandy executives said the 1000 is what the PC Junior should have been. The Tandy 1000 had the same functionality as the PC Junior, but with a better keyboard, better expansion options, and was actually more PC compatible than the PC Junior which is quite an accomplishment considering that the Model 1000 was Tandy's first IBM compatible offering. Now in September of 1984, you could head over to Radio Shack with a station wagon and pick up a TRS-80 Model 2000. Mind you, you did need to bring a station wagon or a truck or at least a large car with loads of trunk space, particularly if you wanted that nine inch monitor. Now the TRS-80 Model 2000 had a 186 CPU and 284 kilobyte, five and a quarter inch disk drives. The Model 2000 included a typewriter style keyboard, which was a selling point back in 84. 15 years ago, you might expect a system to have 128 megabytes of RAM. The TRS-80 had 128 kilobytes, which is about 32 pages of text. Now that sounds like next to nothing, and it was. But keep in mind that the original TRS-80 contained eight kilobytes of RAM, or about two pages of text. The TRS-80 Model 2000 also had a modem, which was exciting, relatively new toy at the time, and although it could run MS-DOS, it was not IBM compatible. All of that would have cost you about $2,750. Now when the Tandy 1000 was originally released, it sold for $1,199, and it featured an Intel, 8088 CPU running at 4.77 megahertz, a five and a quarter inch single sided 360 kilobyte floppy disk drive, 128 kilobytes of RAM, three voice sound, internal speaker, three 8-bit ISA expansion slots, and a 90 key keyboard. It came with MS-DOS 2.11, which encouraged many buyers to opt for an optional second floppy disk drive. With only 128 kilobytes of RAM in a computer system, it was often necessary to load operating system instructions from one disk and switch disks to load whatever software you were running. Sometimes it was necessary to switch again to save data within a program. The Tandy 1000 was able to grow as users' needs changed. The three ISA slots offered the option to upgrade RAM to 384 kilobytes, 512 kilobytes, or 640 kilobytes. You could add a 300 baud modem, you could add the RS-232C board for high-speed communication between computers, or you could add a hard disk controller. Tandy offered hard drive options in the form of hard cards that were installed in one of the expansion slots. The cards consisted of a controller and a drive, typically a 3.5 inch MFM or RLL unit with a Western digital controller mounted together on a metal bracket. These kits cost around $800. Another interesting new feature found on the Tandy 1000 was direct memory access, or DMA, which significantly increased RAM performance. Now the Tandy VM2 high resolution monochrome or CM2 high resolution color monitors were sold and could be run in 40 or 80 character modes. Now we purchased two Tandy 1000s. The first was purchased on eBay for $233 from a seller in Canada. This package got held up in customs and took a considerably long time to arrive. So during that time of waiting for it to arrive, we purchased our second Tandy 1000 for $216. It came with a VM2 monitor, which originally sold for $159 on its own. It also had one of the three ISA slots populated by an RS-232 board, as well as having a matching keyboard. On the front of the 1000, you can see the Tandy 1000 badge now note that the badge can't be used to distinguish a 1000 from a 1000A. The two 360 kilobyte floppy drives labeled A and B, the red reset button, and keyboard and joystick ports. The power switch is located on the right side. The back of the 1000 is where you'll find the power input, printer port, light pen port, monitor port, composite AV out for use with the CM2 monitor, and three expansion slots. The system shown here has the RS-232 port in the middle slot. 
Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Be on the lookout for this Tandy 1000 in future videos, and I hope you're as excited to see some of the other systems that we're adding to our collection. Now make sure you like the video, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, comment down below. Let us know if you have or had a computer like this or another one that you'd like to see. Also, you can check us out on our Tandy Lab Facebook page. And of course, if you wanna be a sugar daddy or a sugar mama, we're always looking for both. Uh, we do have a Patreon account and we appreciate your guys' support. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for this and other great vintage systems. Later.